Hey, welcome everybody. Mike, the Golden State Picker. Beautiful sunny day. Loving it. Finally, some sunshine. I'm here at my bin and we got three to start with. I don't know how many I'm going to get today, but we are going to go for three at least. And we're going to show you some stuff that we get out of these bins, help you out, talk about Amazon FBA and some other things hopefully we'll find inside these bins. So stick around. Uh, let's go take a look at some books and make some money. All right, everybody, I'm going to start out with a little brief introduction here. This is my Natamu Bluetooth scanner. We're going to scan UPC codes. What are UPC codes? That is that little barcode right there. This app is Scout IQ. You need this to tell you what the value of a book is. Basically, that's what Scout IQ is going to do. My trigger is zero because I find other things in here to pay for these bins. They're $100 each. And I am going to find some more stuff that will pay for the Amazon book. So that's why I have a zero buy cost on this particular app. So we're going to scan some. Now, I forgot something at home, so it's going to be a little tricky today. So I'm going to have to do it this way. So there's the barcode on this first book. This first book is The Art of Electronics. Let's scan that one. There you go. So I'm going to try and zoom in. $40 profit on this 115 e score it's being sold as new at 66 for amazon so we're gonna look at 40 dollars profit 115 that's the e score very good and the rank is very good so we should make some money on this one let's take a look at some other ones here real quick okay here is this book i scanned it in and this one is uh tekken i just sold an item sold something i bought i bought yesterday that's cool interesting <laughs> Oh, the fun today I have. So there is a $74 book and 19 e-score. You can see this is the FBM side selling at 89. FBA is 97.95. This will sell. Now let's take a look at one other thing you got to use here. It's called the keep a graph. I'm going to leave it at this angle, but we're looking at this black line. That is the used book. The green up and down is it's selling and the blue line is new. So we got to keep that in mind. We use Keepa, which comes with Scout IQ, and we use that injunction to try to figure out where the book's going to sell. So there's that. Um, let me move that out of the way, get another one here. I'm just going to kind of go through this and give you a general today. So this one here is the Hendrickson Parallel Bible. Okay, and let's take a look, scan it. Okay, now, this one is $52 profit, 9E score. What we're doing here with this one, we're going to cross-check this on eBay. I'll try to put the eBay comp up because one sold for 50 on eBay. So that helps me and tells me that, yes, this book can sell for that. We tap Keepa, and you can see right around 50. So this is at least 50 put in or 65 in that range. So we will check that out. So right off the bat, a couple of good books, and I'll keep going and show you some more. All right, first Bible of the day. This is a life application study Bible. Um, pretty good condition, but does have some writing in it, some names in it uh, on that right there. So it hurts the value a little bit. Uh, has a name on the cover, but it's still going to sell. So this Bible's fair condition. I think it's 30 to $35 Bible. Find a lot of Bibles sometimes. Sometimes they go in streaks. So there's okay, a good Okay, just wanted to give you a top look of this bin um, in general. I can see a couple of older books down here. Um, this one here is, uh, there looks like they're, I gotta hope they're all there, but this is Vida de los Santos, the butler. That's number four. I don't know how many are in there. I can see another one. So we'll just keep digging. I'll let you know when I find out. But basically, you just gotta get them here, guys. And then I throw them into here and they get recycled again. Everybody asks, what happens to the duds? Well, they resell them again. So they sell them to a jobber. So be careful out there because there are people like me who scan and they could be resold to you. So that you gotta be, that's why I say, hey, you gotta try to find a local source. It's a little bit easier. And I'm just kind of scouting around, easy French. So we'll keep going, we'll show you something. Right, everybody, I'm gonna go through this pile here back for you to kind of show you a few things that I'm looking for when I'm doing this, okay? So we're gonna bring it back over here and um, we're gonna start scanning a few of these. So I'm a little one-handed today, kind of dumb. I left something at home, so I'm gonna do this differently. 
Now, this is a false reading. Still a good book, but you can see that Scout IQ is telling me 180 to sell this for. And over here in the FBM, there's a huge gap, 30 to 180, E-score 13, 2 mil rank. So very high rank, but if we tap Keepa, let's tap it. i got to keep it this way, I can't keep flipping my phone. But the black line is low, so it's running about, probably about 40 to $50 is what this book will sell for. New, it could pop at 200 maybe, but down here, no. It's still a good book, but that's a false reading, so you've got to be careful. That's why you hear me as I subtract, if you watch to the end, I show you my total it uh, accepts and stuff and what the profit is, but I've got to account for this. I don't want to fool you. <clears throat> so that's what I'm doing here. So I've All got right, everybody. Here. here we go. We're going to take a look at a few things here. I'm going to talk about first off, I find Nancy Drew and Hardy Boyce. Now, what I do is I keep them in a, a box at home, basically. And then I look as each time I get one, I create a in my notes which ones I need so I will check them as I get them and add them until I get a full lot of Nancy Drew and Hardy Bulls. Full lots can sell from $200 to $300. So I will check number seven. Low numbers I'm pretty sure I have so uh, that's one I will just check on my phone. Now we're going to look at this stack here. We're going to go through this stack so you can kind of get an idea what I am uh, what I'm doing okay. So uh, flip that one over and what do we do? Whoops, we got to get my barcode scanner. Let's get it out. Let's hit it. Okay. All right. There's a bread and butter one kind of thing. Uh, 74 e score, $6.44. Amazon is selling it at 16 So what we do is we tap on this. Let's tap on the profit up here. Tap on it. It's going to tell me I'm going to sell this at $14.40. So you can sell against uh, Amazon. You can't be afraid of that. Now... Uh, here is something I found. This is the Earth Warriors Oracle cards, and I will scan those. Oh, there we go. Now, again, look at the big gap, 164 to 215. That's not going to happen, so we're going to tap down here on Keepa, and the graph is bouncing, and you can sell that this is going to sell between $30 and $40. The black line is right around there, so still a good find but it's not going to sell for what you see there so at the end when i do all of my um all of my uh, uh daily accept rate i have to account for this so i can't fool you i've got to take and and take about 100 away so you'll hear me talk about that sometimes throughout the, at the end of the video that if it says 2000 i take away 600 for errors like this so you get a better idea of what i'm doing now here's another one this is the train shed encyclopedia this is something i'll keep because this could sell on eBay. So I'll have to take a look at that at the end of the day. Here's another one. This is Forest of Voices. Let's take a look at that. Again, look at another big gap. So we've got to be careful. So we tap the Keepa. And the black line is popping at it's probably between 35 and 45. So still a good book. But we've got to be very careful. Now we got this next one. This type of book is what you're looking for. That's Mental Dynamite, uh, Napoleon Hill. Scan it. Oops, we got to get it over here. Get it off Keepa. There you go. Solid book. 486, 43. Here's a title. Look at this title. Demons, Nephilim, Angels. Now that's kind of a cool title, right? It's an interesting title. So let's take a look at that one. You hear the audible ping that I get here, and that is coming in at 672. Again, Amazon is on it. We tap it, and there you go for that one. Here is one called Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh, it's just in the wrong position today. Now, I will take this one. It is 80, 82 E score, 112 rank, good rank. I'm only going to make a dollar 37, but it is red. But remember, I pay pretty much zero, so I'll take that dollar 37 on that particular book. Next one, next one is blessing or curse. Oh, solid, 151 plus five dollars. Again, Amazon is on it. 
So we come down. We're going to have to adjust on this book. I think we're going to have to come in at about 1335. That's okay. Still comes out at 448. This sells fast. 151 plus E score means this book sells almost before it hits. 22K rank. Very solid there. Here is another one for Portraits of Jesus. And let's hit that one. All right. There you go. Uh, yep. A solid 1185 49 e score under a million rank so that one's good now here's another situation you have to look out for so this is a brand new two book set Bible study a little older the Bible is good for you so let's scan it now look it it's a reject but 95 e score 144 guess what we're gonna do Amazon's 2874 new buy boxes down here so let's tap that now we make ten dollars and fifteen cents because it is new now here's a cool one this is john haggy i think john haggy is pretty funny and amazing great preacher and this is his prophecy study bible look at it it is brand new in the box so that is definitely going to go probably on ebay because i don't think it has an e-score another one every man's battle let's take a look at that solid 151 10k uh, rank there it is on Amazon. We're going to tap the profit. We're going to uh, right around 1219, probably 1195. And one more on this run. Here you go. Easy French step by step. 151 plus 49. So another solid one. <laughs> okay, guys. Now, I told you I find things other than books to sell on Amazon. Here is one. This is the illustrated. Uh, illustrated by Gustav Dorr, the Dorr Bible Gallery, rough condition, but still maybe some value in there. Uh, shoot, I'm trying to see. So, wow, it's in really rough condition, but we will look it up just for uh, kicks and giggles. There might be somebody who will want that one. We'll have to check. Now, remember we talk about service manuals. Here's a Harley Davidson service manual. This should be pretty good. It's in fair condition. Look at it. the pages are pretty clean, so I'm happy about that. So that's pretty good. Now I'm going to show you this one here. This one will this one will pop, but it is like a library book, and I want to get those stickers off. See that? So I'm going to use a light heat gun, very light, and be able to peel those off because inside it's clean. Okay. So let's take a look and scan this particular book. Let's start with this one, and we'll scan a few and talk about them. Okay, this one right off the bat, $20.55, 25 e score. Uh, pop over on Keepa just to look, and yes, it's in that $20 range right now. So that's a good book. I just got to clean it up. These were cool. Two books, The World's Best National Parks and the History of the World in 500 Walks. Really cool sounding book. And you can see 948, 115 e score very nice book it's on amazon so it's going to sell uh pretty so will its counterpart over here here's its counterpart and the counterpart is right there for seven dollars twenty-five. here is a series and i peeled off the sticker you can see i had to peel it back and this is clean there's no writing in it that's key okay it's a workbook so i have to check that that is $20.39 with an e-score of 22. So that's a nice little find. And then it looks like it's Companion. And you can see somebody already sold this as new on eBay, it looks like. On Amazon. $22.93 for that one. So that's a good one. And we have this down here I want to show you. This one is Charles Dickens. Somebody drew pen on it probably a kid and it is an Easton Press book so I collect the Easton Press and uh, try to build as big a lot as I can on those and we got one more down here Supergirl high E score probably a gap again 2376 if we flip it it's probably no more than seven ten bucks so we'll have to look at that one it's only showing me like ten dollars but you can always come in i'm trying to see if i so you come at 12 you still make 292 1199 that might work so you just got to kind of get a feel for it all right let's get back to the work okay guys wow <laughs> often doing bin number two Bin number one is done, so I got to do bin number two. Uh, just a quick glance. I don't know what this is. It says Time Life on here. I have no idea. 
supplement. I don't know what what in the world. Anything time life though. Foods of the world. I don't think that's gonna be good at all. Oh yuck. That's ugly. What's this thing? Nothing there. Painting. So we're gonna go through this one. Well, see somebody. I don't know what's going on, but this is like I said. That is just somebody wrapping it up, and that's no good. So we'll go through them and we'll stop occasionally and show you what we found. Main thing, but here's this book here. This book is Chess 5334 Problems. Interesting. So we're going to scan this one. Bam. That's what we call a good one. 98, 78, 72 profit, 32 E score, under a million rank. So that's a nice. I'm going to drop a few of these. I'm going to keep showing you. Uh, nursing stuff can work. You just got to make sure of uh, uh, the year of them, that kind of this is a little bit rough condition, not horrible, but still in pretty fair condition. Scan it. Bing. 28, 151 e score, 9,000 rank, uh, 51 on Amazon. I'll get, you know, let's say even if I put it in it down at 29, 14, 15. All right, hey everybody, I had to finish the end of the video in the back of the car. I had too much going on. I had some phone calls. Stuff was just driving me crazy out there. I ended up doing five full bins, and uh, I'm going to show you the um, scans uh, on the uh, Scout IQ, explain that to you, show you a couple more books, a couple things that I found at Savers. I'll drop those in too because I always go to uh, UPS to drop off, drop off my packages. And then I stepped into uh, Savers uh, and found a couple items. So I want to show you those too. So uh, we will look here. There's the car. Pretty full up. So I'm going to switch to the GoPro and use the phone so I can show you Scout IQ and what we got. And then give you an idea of the totals for the day on those bins. Okay, here you go. Five bins. One, two, three, four, five. And a small one here for um, everything. The eBay stuff is in the front of my car, and uh, hopefully that's going to get me close to what I paid for all this stuff. We will see. I'm going to go through just a few more books to kind of give you a general idea so you can see the total. I'm going to show you my scan total. We'll talk about that also here at the end. So, you know, we're looking for is, is out there too, is we're looking for books that have unique titles. This is Yacht Design Explained. Very cool. You know, this one up here, this time is different. Just interesting titles. So when you're at the Savers or Goodwill or garage sales or flea markets, you're looking for interesting titles in general. So if we scan this one, it'll pop up down here in a second. There you go. Now this is a lot we call long tail. 809,000K rank up here. 7E score. Now it's telling me 5394. Now we can use what we call Keepa. We tap it, we spin it, and we can see that this is all around 40 to $50. Uh, sells it for, for that kind of price. The black line is the used, the green line is when it sells, and the blue line is new. So if we tap back and uh, we go back and make sure I don't hit anything, it's scanning. There you go. So uh, I could come in at 40. 295 right under those guys and make sure I sell it. So that's a good book. Let's take a look at another one. Same kind of uh, theme. World Cruising Routes. So very interesting title. We'll hit the scanner on that one. Uh, there you go. Uh, $50.38 with a 12 e score. That one probably will be pretty close to that if we tap the keep uh, just to show you again. It's bouncing, so yeah, that one is definitely um, a solid uh, $49.95 kind of book. Sells 12 times every six months, that's what it's telling us. Now, here's an interesting one. Look at this one. The Tao of Pooh by Benjamin Hoff. Two books set in very good condition, I think. We're going to scan that barcode. And look at that one. $64.12. Again, 14 e score, 831 k rank. If we hit the keep, uh, let's see what we come up with on that one. I would say definitely a solid. We don't have to always go by this. Remember, I would say it's going to be in this $54 range. So if we tap 54, still $38 profit 
on that little two book set solid. Okay, and we got one more. This one here, uh, when you see these, they can be or can't be it, <laughs> worth money. Uh, this is Gowns by Adrian, the MGM years. And I just wanted to show you because uh, some of these older books, the fashion, I love the fashion of the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. Uh, I think it's fantastic. So we hit this one and we scan it. And this is 1945, 8 Escort, $9.72. So that's a solid find right there. And uh, goes into everything that goes in here. <laughs> Uh, some Bibles. There's a Bible up there. There's a bunch of stuff up in my front seat. Now, let's talk about what was my net profit for all these books today. <clears throat> On Scout IQ, you can tap Analytics. These are my uh, lifetime scans. 276,000 books I have scanned. We can tap up here, and I'm going to change it to today. Now, today, um, my best day in the last year was a 1,300 scan day. Today, I scanned 769. I accepted 202 books, basically. Um, it says my total list price, 7,200. My estimated profit, 4,664. But you can see, I just scanned those back in. So I can't use that. So I'm going to tell you, to be really honest and fair, I would take off, let's take off 2,600, just for the heck of it. I'm pretty sure that I have at least $2,000 worth of books, okay? I'm, I'm real positive. But I don't want to just say, hey, look at it, I got $4,600. Nah, it doesn't work that way. So uh, $2,000 is what I would say my net for Amazon is. And uh, then I've got the eBay stuff, which is going to help what? Pay for the bins. That's what we hope for. Bins cost me $100. I didn't pay $100 today. Today... I managed to work a deal for 400 for five. Okay, that's what I worked on. So now I got to get the, you know, over time, if you've watched me, you know what I'm talking about. I have uh, sold many uh, items that are five or six hundred dollars for out of one bin. Now, let me give you a quick rundown of something. Like a couple things I found out at Savers. Here's one right here. This is Cutco, and it is a knife block. I paid $4.99 for it. Uh, not positive, but I think it's 40-ish. That's what I really feel it is. Now, this one I got right when I came in. And this is a Yamaha Portatone PSR8. Not a lot of comps on this particular one. But there are on other keyboards. Now, this particular keyboard, um, I took it out and I played it. Uh, and it worked. Okay. I have to get it to show you the price. I paid $14.99. So I paid $14.99. And uh, these Yamahas can go for some good money. I'm not positive. I got to look at this a little more. But I feel it's going to be $150. That's my, my gut feeling there. So that's kind of, again, how I work, everyone. And that is the haul. It's not, it doesn't look it. You saw all the books I was going through. And I don't come back with that many. But I had some really solid... Uh, books today and uh, they will sell for good money over time. So thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video